Hey guys, it's Erin again. Welcome back. We're going to do a quick tutorial on Make Compound Path. A lot of people are a little confused about this. Using Make Compound Path makes two or more images that you lay on top of each other into one image. So they cut out the same, they're the same color, all that stuff. If you group, it's different. So I just wanted to go over that. So I had someone ask me to make them a shirt that said Toddler Saurus, and they want Toddler and Saurus to be on top of the dinosaur, and they want it to cut out the background. They're putting a black HTV on top of a white shirt, so instead of cutting out white vinyl for Toddler Saurus, we're going to use the shirt as the letters. So I've already gone and created my images, and I'm just going to fix this onto the dinosaur where I want it. Now because these are cursive, you can see that the letters overlap each other and I don't want to do that because it will cut the way that you're seeing it in red. So I'm going to highlight both, right click, and weld so that they are one. Now let me show you the two different ways. A lot of people will make these white because they're cutting it out in white and then they'll make the dinosaur black because that's what the color they want. And that looks great. But if you're putting it on a white shirt, there's no need to waste white vinyl when you can use the shirt as the background. So you would highlight everything, right click, and make compound path. Now toddler source is part of the dinosaur. You would cut it in, out just like this and then you would weed the lettering out. And as you can see, my background is gray, so my letters are gray instead of white. And that would be where the shirt is. Now if I right click and release compound path, you see that the letters are still there in red because the machine is still gonna cut those out right now. But if you were sending this to a customer, they would have no idea what the shirt looked like because they don't know what that means. And if we just change the coloring to clear, you can see that every part of the letters is now open for editing. And that's because we made everything one piece. So that's the basics of compound path. It's easy to remember that it makes your image one. So if you're doing it all the same color, definitely make it a compound path. That way you can preview it. If you're layering different colors on top of each other, you don't want to make a compound path because it's going to make them all the one main color that you pick. That's when you want to use group. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I too try to answer those questions right away. If you have any ideas for other videos I should be making to help you learn more about your program, leave me a comment about that below and I'll try to get that into rotation. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time guys, happy crafting!